Hey, my name is Bill Gagne, and I'm here to coach you up on finishing your basement. And in this edition of Monday Mailbag, I'm going to start out first by apologizing because I missed last week. Lots going on. I got my second shot. Almost had to put my dog down. Left my business, like I said in a previous episode. So just things got in the way. My bad. I'll try to do better. Uh, or at least try to get it done. You know, it's not that hard. So I've gotten some questions about sewage ejection pits and uh, connecting to septic systems for a new bathroom in your basement. And I want to be straight up, I am not a plumber. I don't know anything about that stuff. That's why I hire a plumber. So in this episode, we're going to talk about why you should be hiring licensed tradespeople. First and foremost, it has to do with expertise. They have the tools, they have the experience. They have the knowledge, they have all these things to get it done. They're gonna get it done faster and better and to building code. Whereas you're not gonna be able to figure that out right away if you don't have that experience. Is it gonna cost more? Yeah, but you have the understanding that it'll be done right. Number two is warranty. They will warranty things because they are executing it as a business, as licensed tradespeople, and they will share with you what that warranty is. So if something goes wrong, you know they're gonna come in and fix it. If your sewage ejection pit or your septic tank isn't connected properly and it goes wrong, that's on you because you're the one executing the warranty. So I'm very weary of that. I like the peace of mind of knowing somebody's gonna take care of it. The last point I'm gonna make has to do with liability. Now, they will assume as licensed tradespeople liability because they're a business that will carry liability insurance. I fully believe that you should hire licensed tradespeople for plumbing and electrical, and anything that requires a warranty. That way you're protected, your house is protected. I talked about these a little bit in the dangers of DIY. The other thing you have to think about when it comes to liability is your home insurance. If you go out and you connect your sewage ejection pit and it's not done properly and it all goes wrong and you go to claim it on your insurance, they're going to say, who executed this work? When we have provided your home insurance, you didn't have a second bathroom and now you do. Who executed this? You executed this? Are you a licensed tradesperson? Did you get a permit? Are all those things done properly to code in your area? No, we're not covering it. So really, your home is the biggest purchase you're ever going to make. And yes, I'm a full proponent of saving some money DIYing, but really, I want to protect that asset more than anything. So if this helped you, do me a favor, leave a thumbs up and a subscribe. Do you have any questions about your basement? Please leave them in the comments or send me an email where it's at basementcoach at gmail.com. As always, thanks for watching and good luck on your project.